So we're talking to Ali Capasso. She teaches second grade. And can you tell us a bit about what you do and how long you've taught? Okay, so um, I, I've been teaching for six years, and I've taught three years of first grade. Uh, I taught three years of first grade first, and now I'm teaching second grade. I've been in second grade for three years, and I graduated from UTA in 2010 with my bachelor's, and I just graduated with my master's in December. That's great. Congrats on, on both, but especially your master's. Yes, very well, exciting. Awesome. Tell us about how you use digital learning with your second graders. Sure. Well, one of the things that I think about when uh, when I think about second graders is keeping it as simple as possible, especially if we're going to use something regularly. So uh, one of the things that I like to use is a is a uh, web application called Symbaloo. And what that is, if you think about your iPhone, it has all those little icons that you click when you want to go somewhere that you usually go. Symbaloo is just like that. So you can make up a list of links that you would usually use, and it has picture representations of those links. So you, you can just quickly click it and go where you want to go. So for my literacy block, I might have Starfall, Storyline Online, I might have Spelling City, all of the things that we would usually use so that when we do have our uh, portable laptop cart, we can just grab a laptop and go where we need to go. Okay, great. And then where do you get your ideas for teaching digitally? I, I like to go on Pinterest. I know a lot of people do, and sometimes that's really helpful, but we are fortunate enough to have a, an instructional specialist who focuses on technology, so it's been really wonderful to have access to her in our district. So um, she, she used to work uh, mostly on our campus, but now she's more of a, a person in our district, so it's possible if you worked for a district that had one that you might be able to contact them. Oh, great. Okay, I like that. Um, people as resources. Okay, great. And then, Allie, what advice do you have for others on teaching with digital tools? I think one of the most important pieces of advice is that it's really worth the time. Kids are entering this new age where they have to have that digital literacy. So you might notice them struggling to get on a website and you might think it, it takes so much time. They're not going to be able to find it. I've got to go get them on and I've got to do all the usernames, but it, it's just so important for them. And, and if, if they're not um, literate in technology, they're, they're just going to be so behind. So it's, it's worth your investment in time. Oh, that's great. I like that. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.